Big data in the wide sense is nothing else than the huge number of data inside of the organization or outside of an organization. So all data available on the globe to give you the opportunity to detect insights and meaningful information to make your business decisions better on a fact-based level. Yeah, that's a fancy question. I believe they can't ignore the big data and for several reasons they can't ignore. First of all, it provides a huge opportunity for them to identify more about their customer, but also to better assess the risks in the econo economic sense of the globe. So that means there are a lot of information out there which help them to price better their risks, to understand better the customer behavior and to shape their products accordingly. So that's a huge opportunity within big data. But they also can't ignore it because their competitors will make use of it. And the competitors of today are still the insurance companies, maybe the banks, but in the future it could be a Google or a Amazon owning all these data. And if the insurance industry ignore to make use of these data, they definitely fail to use a big opportunity to adapt their traditional business model to the new needs of the customers they are facing. I believe that that is one of the biggest risks for two purposes. One, a missed opportunity to identify growth opportunities and to identify new risk assessments that must be considered for profitability perspective and growth, uh, growth opportunities, but the downside is also they have to manage the risks around big data, digitalization and all this fancy stuff going on out there. So they have to be prepared in a risk management sense to deal with all these risks coming along with the digitalization of the, of the globe, which means nothing else than dealing with hacker attacks, dealing with uh, cyber risk, dealing with data privacy, dealing with data security, IT security, and all these challenges which are inherent to making use of the digital opportunity and the big data opportunities in front of them. Here again, there are two big opportunities. One is they can use big data and the informations based on deep dive analytics, which are provided out of the big data to improve their risk management capabilities, to provide meaningful insights for the board members, for the business owner, as well as for the underwriter, the actuaries, the pricing people. So they can extract a lot of meaningful data out of the big data, which add value to the business. So it helps the risk management function to position themselves as a business partner to be taken seriously and not someone who is just protecting the organization. On the other side, I believe they need to take the new risks coming along seriously and build their own capabilities to manage and deal and cope with these new risks around the cyber risk and the hacker attacks, as I said.